which of the following best describes systematic risk there are two types of risk one is called the systematic risk and unsystematic risk unsystematic risk is the diversifiable risk while systematic risk is not diversifiable risk so which one is the best description the chances that automated process may fail wrong the risk associated with investing in equity wrong the diversifiable risk this is called unsystematic risk the residual risk associated with investing in a well diversified portfolio so in a well diversified portfolio the risk left over is called the systematic risk or also called the company also called the economy specific risk the next question says that are the following statement true or false number 1 an increase in cost of equity leads to a fall in share price share price is the present value of future cash flow so if cost of equity increases so share price decreases investor faced with increasing risk will expect increasing rate of return both are directly associated so it's true the cost of debt is usually lower than cost of preference shares the risk associated with cost of debt is comparatively lower than cost of preference shares so cost is reduced which of the following are assumed if a company's current vac is to be used for investment appraisal project capital structure will remain unchanged for the duration of the project this is an assumption if we use this current vac the business risk is same as the current business operation again this is the assumption the project is relatively small in size this is also an assumption if we use the existing vac so all statements are true next is alpha elf co gearing is 1 is to 1 debt is equal to equity this 100% debt 100% equity the industry average is 1 is to 5 means equity is more than the debt so from comparison to industry we have high debt a is looking to raise finance in a new project and is wondering whether to raise debt or equity applying the traditional view which of the following is true what traditional view says traditional view says that if you introduce debt initially it will reduce your vac and there is an optimum level of capital structure afterwards if you introduce more debt the vac goes uh, vac will increase it should take on debt financing as to do will save tax no it should look to can equity finance as their gearing is probably beyond optimal this is correct point it does not matter as it won't affect the return the project generate no under traditional method it affect more information is needed before a decision can be made but if uh, we opt point number 2 considering it's beyond optimal range then this option is also not good because we know that under traditional view what is our direction next question says that are the following statement true or false the asset beta reflects both business risk and financial risk false asset beta reflects uh, only the business component of risk total risk is the sum of systematic and unsystematic yes assuming that the beta of debt is zero will understate financial risk when ungearing in equity beta so the difference between the asset beta and equity beta it's due to the business element of uh, is due to the financial element of risk so if we assume that debt beta is zero so it will not understate financial risk rather it will overstate so it's false 